YouTube. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first video on YouTube and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. So what I want to talk about today is about getting your real estate license, how it's been for me and uh, what I've learned so far. So I pretty much got my license in March of 2018, right now we're in November uh, 2018. And I learned a lot, you know, just from real estate in general and from the, from the business itself. So I'm 20 years old now. I March I was 19 so I got my license when I was 19 and I've also been reading about real estate and investing and things like that all the way since I was 17 years old so pretty much I've always been involved in real estate and the business and the aspect of it and a lot of people have been asking me hey you know would you recommend uh, getting me getting my license what do you think about real estate is it hard and I mean here's the thing it's not hard it's challenging but it's simple it's not easy, it's simple, you know, you, you know what you have to do once you're in the business. It's just that a lot of people don't do it. They learn, they learn, they learn, and then they don't take action. So one of the things that I've learned, you know, from when I got my license in March all the way till now is that no matter how much content you take in, no matter how much information you know about the market, about this, about that, it doesn't matter if you're not willing to implement it and do it on every day, you know. So if you're not doing something every day to generate business, then you know you're falling behind and that pretty much you know i'm i'm guilty of that too you know in october i went full-time in august you know from, from march and march until august i decided to go full-time uh because i just wanted to go all in and i didn't want to waste any more time so i went full-time and in october what happened was that i got four listings in october you know four listings and i started working with like three buyers Right. And a lot of that's a lot of that stuff now is under contract. So what happened was that, you know, I, I didn't really expect it to to come in like that. So, you know, I didn't I wasn't really ready for it, I guess you want to call it. So what happened was that I uh, I stopped lead generating, you know, I, I stopped making my 20 contacts a day. I, I started making like a 10 here and there. And like a week I was I was maybe doing like 50 contacts a week. You know, and that really uh, is not good, and I would not recommend that for everyone, for anyone. So pretty much, why that happened was because I didn't have the proper systems in place for me to run a business, you know, and and keep uh, lead generating. So pretty much, how real estate works is, you know, you lead, you lead generate. You could do it however way you wanted to, but how I do it is I lead generate in the morning, and then you know I follow up with clients, appointments, and things like that in the afternoon. So pretty much. The morning, you know, is what really drives your business. Because if you don't contact people, it doesn't matter if you're doing it in the morning, in the afternoon, wherever, whatever part of the day you're contacting people. If you don't do that aspect of the business, then, you know, you're, 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 you're in a very dangerous situation. Because let's say you're like me, you know, you got four listings in one month, let's say, out of nowhere, and then out of nowhere, but you put in the work, you got, you got the four listings. And then now you're in, in, in a situation where you don't have uh, other businesses coming in because you're not doing your lead generating. And then you get the business, you make money, then you spend your money on expenses, then you start uh, lead generating again, you make money, and then you know, you're on this roller coaster. And in real estate, you know nothing ever goes up steady, but you want to at least go up and like maybe you know stop, like you know a few steps forward, a few steps back. But you definitely want to make sure that you're running your business efficiently and contacting people as you're going. So that was one of the main things that, that I did wrong. And, you know, for real estate, it really teaches you about life and, and habits, you know, like the, the proper habits that you have to implement in your life. Like right now, um, I'm, I'm waking up around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I, that's usually what I, what I go for. I don't always do it because sometimes... Uh, I mess up and you know I'm I'm still getting used to these habits and things like that but for the most part you know I get up at 4 30 5 o'clock go to the gym and come back you know read a book things like that feed my brain and then go lead generating do do things that I have to do to, to be able to keep my business going and what I learned about this was that before I had real estate you know before I was never pushed to implement certain things because I wasn't on my schedule. I was on, on somebody else's schedule, you know, my boss's schedule. I used to survey for an engineer, you know, I worked from 7.30 to 3.30. I was on his schedule, you know, so 
when I showed up to the office, I knew exactly what I needed to do because he had the systems in place that pretty much, you know, were straightforward. So it's the same thing with real estate. You have to have that calendar. You have to have those systems. So where every, every time you go uh, into the office, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And as you grow, uh, you obviously have to, you know, innovate your systems and things like that to keep the business running and also give the appropriate service to your clients, you know, world-class service, because that's the best thing that matters now. Uh, right now, a lot of people are looking for, you know, honesty, authentic, and somebody that knows the market, but is willing to be aggressive and like work and not just going to be talking and, and not doing anything. And that goes back to the action and the knowledge. You know, if you know all this knowledge and you're not taking action, then it doesn't mean anything, you know. So reputation is definitely key uh, for real estate, you know, especially with social media. You know, everybody sees that if you have a, if you have two stars on Zillow and like, you know, you have five people that are constantly saying the same thing about you, you know, oh, you're always late to your appointments. And that triggers back to how you live. You know, if you live unorganized, you wake up late all the time and you, you go late, not to just real estate meetings and things like that, but everything else, if you're late for everything, you know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So all of that stuff is going to show. And if you were to take anything away from this and, you know, if you are looking to get your license, just take that away. You know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So start by investing in yourself, developing your habits, listening to people like Brian Casella, Andy Frisella, you know, Tony Robbins, M.I. Lett, Grant Cardone, people like that that have uh, implemented certain habits and pretty much they all they look for is to become the best version of themselves every time they wake up you know whether it's in business sales lifestyle gym whatever you do just be the best give it a hundred percent because that is the only way uh, you're going to be able to move up you know so thank you guys for watching the video i hope i helped you guys out in something you learned something today uh, if you like the video click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel i will be posting more content every week uh, maybe I'll do it two, three times a week, maybe more often. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.